In this video, we dive into a fascinating topic, creativity. Creativity can have a big impact on our daily life, on our career and even on our health. I will show you my perspective on creativity and why it is so important to be creative, especially now in 2024. So let's explore our mighty creativity. Oh, and don't say, oh, I'm not a creative person. Everyone is creative. As Picasso famously said, Every child is an artist. The problem is to remain an artist once we grow up. Creativity lies in each and every one of us. You just might not use it to its full potential. But creativity is part of our ability to solve problems. Without creativity, people would still be stuck in the Stone Age. Creativity helped ancient humans to have ideas, like making a fire and use it to cook their food. Without creativity, people would never have invented things like the wheel. Creativity is what makes us human. We always give credit to intelligence, but what would an intelligent human be without creativity? Logic will get you from A to B. Imagination will get you everywhere. Like Albert Einstein said. I hope you understand what I want to say. Creativity is no exclusive club for artists. It is a tool which can be used in every part of our life. When we use our creativity, it will help us to discover new horizons. If we try to find creative solutions in everyday situations, we will learn to handle challenges differently in the long term. And when we make room for our creativity, our life will not only be way more interesting, it also will be more fulfilled. But why am I making this video? What's my motivation? Due to the progress in AI, many people feel discouraged from being creative. A lot of people fear that artificial intelligence will think for us in the future and that there will no longer be the freedom to live out our creativity. Why should you learn to paint when an AI bot can generate a beautiful image in just a few seconds. Why should I write the script for this video when ChatGPT can do it for me? But this thought is misleading, because in the age of AI, creativity is more worth than ever before. AI is a great tool, but if no one questions the output, the output will become more and more similar. In computer science, this is called a local minimum. Uh, and, and please correct me if I explain this wrong, um, but it basically means that the AI will continue to optimize itself and it will never stop. And so the answers will continue to move more and more in the same direction. AI will never question anything and never break any rules. And the machine will never have the intention of communicating something to us with its creation. But humans are excited about something surprising. We want to see an idea that blows us away. So start painting or drawing or writing. Go out, take pictures, anything you can think of. Your imagination is the limit. You can use an AI as a tool if it helps you to get your creativity going. But don't use it as a shortcut to skip all the hard work. You need to do the work yourself. To say it in Picasso's words, I begin with an idea and then it becomes something else. Besides improving our ideas, we don't learn anything when we let something else do our work. And I think 
constant learning is one of the greatest things in our life. So don't miss out on this opportunity. Creativity is so powerful that it even has an impact on our health. Creative activities like painting, drawing, writing or playing an instrument can reduce stress and make us happier. It's like a vacation for our brain. It can help us to overcome negative emotions and it even can help us with anxiety. Creative activities have a similar effect on our brain as meditation. Through creating something we become happier. Creativity is also a driving force when it comes to our career. It can be a critical factor to get what you want out of your career. Businesses are in need of creative minds. Again, it's not necessary that you have to work as an artist. It's about to find innovative and original solutions. Regardless of your industry, creativity can be the key to success. So get going and as Dali said, have no fear of perfection, you will never reach it. On your way, you have to fail. Failure is inevitable. You failed, just start over again. I know it's easier said than done and our society often conveys to us the feeling that you have to be able to do everything immediately. But it isn't true. You have to fail. That's the only way to learn and to get better at your craft. And one last thing that will help you with creativity. Learn to appreciate criticism. That is a key to make your ideas even better. As Aristoteles once said, there's only one way to avoid criticism. Do nothing, say nothing and be nothing. If someone criticizes you, don't be upset. Appreciate the critique and learn from it. This is one of the most important lessons I have learned from studying design at university. I have to say most of the time when I couldn't handle criticism it was because I wasn't happy with my own work and I hoped that the other students and the professors would like it regardless and if they pointed out a mistake I couldn't learn from it because I was mad. Only when I changed my attitude I truly started to learn from criticism and my ideas got much better after that. Critique can open our mind and we learn to see our work and ourselves from completely new perspectives. Through this we can outgrow ourselves and we can become what we aspire to be. Being creative is much more than just painting or writing. It's about experiencing life in a way that makes it more colorful and fulfilling. So why not start today? Set yourself the goal of doing something creative every day. You will be surprised how your life can change. Thank you for watching and don't let anyone or anything stop you from being creative.